Hi everyone, so if you're watching this, it's uh, most, I'm guessing, you're wanting to do the Rufus Batong tutorial. So this video is just going to be a rather quick one. Um, the information will be in the content description on if the video is on YouTube and it will be on my website for information on what you're going to need and the pencils and all that kind of thing. This video is about the preparation for debossing. So I use this, which is a seam ripper, and the idea is that I scratch into the surface of the paper that I'm using so that when I draw over the top with the colored pencils, the pigment will skip over the indentitions that I've done and the scratches that I've done. And then it's my choice to either be able to use that to color as a guide to color around it or to add extra layers in. Because what will eventually happen is the more layers I put in, I can even add pigment into those wells and have other pigments skip over the top depending on the pressure that I use, which is what I'll describe in the second part of the tutorial, which will be the longer bit that would have been from the live stream, which I'll be doing. So you're either watching this because you're wanting to join me live and we haven't done it yet, or I've already done it and you want to know how to do it after the fact. So. I was going to draw little lines on a separate piece of paper for you to clearly see where I'm going, but the thing is the hairs on the reference image are so clear that I don't think it's really necessary. Essentially what you're doing is you're wanting to draw in the line or scratch in the direction the hairs are going. So here, for instance, they're relatively vertical. So you'd be just scratching like this and then making it a bit messier up the top. Do shorter lines for areas like around here and you do longer lines where the hair is around the forehead as well as the side areas here. For whiskers, you'd be doing long sections here. And for the back, you, again, you'd be going in the rough direction of where you see it go, but it'll be scraggly in places. Now, you're also going to do it up on the back as well because you can see there's these flyaway hairs. So you still want to scratch in where they are along the back here because when you draw the background in, however you choose to do the background, um, you still want that pigment to skip and see these hairs. So essentially, wherever you see these kind of hairs that are showing up over dark areas and wherever you see the lighter parts of these hairs with the dark background, that's where you want to draw it. So it's going to, my hands, I'm aware it's probably going to, let me fold this again. Okay. So let's say I'm doing this area around here. I just do little scratches like this. Where you don't see many of those individual hair details, I'm going to avoid it. I don't need to go into it. I can use the actual colored pencils for that. And also here where you see darker spots, again, without much but for the forehead there's heaps and also in the ear here there is heaps I'm going to just lighten the graphite a little bit with my needleable eraser I use a Faber Castell um, the reason simply being is I don't want to push the graphite too far into the scratches so I'm just doing little strokes like this when I get to around here I'm going to do little squiggles like this so I'll use the pencil to show you so there's scratches where I'm going like this there's squiggles where I'm going like that. Um, there's messy where it'll be a combination. So over here, for instance, I'll be doing this and then mixing it in like that. Basically, just look at what the fur actually looks like and just do that with your scratches with the whatever tool you're using. You can buy proper tools or like an actual debossing embossing tool. Or I've, I've used this for like two to three years now and it is totally fine. I first got the idea watching artists who um, were using scratch boards and then they were putting ink over the top and then layering it in. And then I tried it first with my Lion graphite and it worked beautifully. And I tell you what, it works fantastic for colored pencil as well. And so that's why I'll be taking you guys through it in the next part of the tutorial. But to save on time, um, we're only doing the rendering and the colored part on that next tutorial for, to get there, um, I recommend you do your, have your own, have your outline ready. So on the tutorial description on my website, I've got a downloadable outline. If you're not feeling comfortable, you can also download the reference by Andrew Borg. 
um, photo by, by Andrew Borg and then you can choose to freehand it, you can trace it, do whatever you want. If you're really not comfortable with the drawing side yet and you just want to do the colouring and just want to join in, then I've even got a faded image option for you to literally just print it. It's just you've got to be aware that because you're using ink from the printer, you're not going to be able to erase those lines. You're just going to have to draw over it. But it will still work and it's still for people to be able to join in who are not necessarily um, that confident with their line art and their drawing just yet, which is totally fine. So yeah, I'm just going to keep doing this. You'll notice when you, if you're choosing to do the debossing as well, you're going to notice it's quite time consuming. <laughs> Um, and that's another reason I'm not going to do it as part of the coloured part of the tutorial because you can see from watching me right now these lines I'm putting in, you basically can't see them on the camera. They don't really show up and translate well as a video. So when we start adding the colour in, I'll be able to talk to you more about how we do that and we can bring this lovely girl to life. So yeah, if you've got any questions, shoot me a comment or you can go to um, whether it's on YouTube here or on my Facebook page, Instagram um, or my web page. So the tutorial details will be on my web page as well as advertised on my socials. But yeah, hope to see you. Good luck with it if you do decide to give this a shot and I'd love to see what people come up with. So yeah, feel free to reach out if you need to. Thanks guys. Bye.